Hello and welcome to AutoCADs. So in this lecture, I have brought you a very interesting topic that will surely going to increase your productivity in AutoCAD and that is known as the blog. So stay with this lecture because here we are going to learn about all the important concepts related to the blog. Like what do you mean by a local blog, how to just write a blog, how to just import a blog into a different pages. So many things we are going to learn in this lecture. And if you haven't subscribed this channel, then please do subscribe it because we are going to bring you this kind of content regularly for you. So how to just create a block and what is block over here? You can see that this is one of the design over here. And in this design, if I'm going to create it with, uh, let's say that we are going to create this design again with the circle and line, they are very much similar. But over here, you can see that if I'm going to click on this design, it will automatically going to select all at once. And there is only a single point with the help of which we can just manipulate it. But over here, since we have created it now using the line and circle, if I'm going to click on this, you can see that it will not going to be selected all at once. And they all have the different points with the help of which we can just manipulate it. And that's because it is the block and as this is a local design that we have created using a simple circle and rectangle. So now you can know about what is the block and how we can just insert the block and what is the advantage of creating a block. You can just, let's say that you have created one engine or you can say that a pump in the house and now you want to save this pump. Let's say that you have taken an hour to create this pump and you, you use this pump regularly. So you can just create this pump regularly. You can take one hour and create this again and again or you can just save it as a block and you can use it whenever you want. So right now you can see that let's say that this is a block and I want it again. So I, how, how we can just get it? Here there is an insert tab and if I'm going to click on this insert tab, you can see that here the block is there. So here if I'm going to click on that again, we have got that block. So if we want it again, we can just again go for the insert tab and we can just want uh, get it again. So this is one of the advantage of block. Now the block that I have created over here is known as a local block. And if why this is known as local block, because if I'm going to start a new page, a fresh page basically, you can see that here there is no block available. It means that this block is absent. That's because the block that I have created over here is known as a local block. It means that it will only going to be applied to the page on which it has been created. Now you can ask me a question that we can use the copy command to copy it. Why should I use a block over here? And here also there is a very major difference between the block and copy. If let's say that if you want to edit something in the block, let's say that you want to add one more circle over here and you have created multiple copy instead of the block, you have created multiple copies. Then you if you have to edit it, you have to edit it on one and then you have to edit it on all the instances that you have copied. But if you have created that, that, that as a block, then by editing only one instances, all the edited or all the instances will going to be updated. So how to edit the block? You just have to double click over the block that you want to edit. And you can see that the edit block definition will going to open. Select the block. You can say that my name is one, two, three over here. Just make it okay. And you can see that the block editor will going to open. From here, just go for the home. Just create any of the editing work that you want. The, from here, you can just have the close block editor. Just close it. And you can see that it will going to ask you to save the changes. Just saved it. And you can see that it will going to be reflected on all the blocks that you have created. So this is the difference between the copy command and a block. If you want to edit a block, then you can just edit in only one instance and it will going to reflect on all the instances. Whereas if you are going to create it using the copy, then it will not going to be and then you have to individually edit every instances. Now this is known as the local block and how to just import it into a dif different page. Let's say that you have uh, basically you have created a new page or you have started a new AutoCAD and I want this that block again. So how to insert it for that you just have to go in the insert tab and over here you can just click on this insert and there's a recent block option if i'm going to click on that you can see that the recent block section will going to open that will going to contain the recently used block and from here you can just go for the other drawing and from other drawing you can just select from here like display and you can just select a folder where you have saved that block and 
like let's say that I have saved this inside the exercise and it will going to be available. So before that, we are going to see how to just create the block. So I'm going to delete everything now and I'm going to create a local block first and then I'm going to use it globally. So I'm going to start a fresh page and let's say that you have created one more block over here. I'm going to switch off this thing. Let's say that you have created a block over here with the help of this circle. And I want to convert this into the block. So how to convert this into a block? So to convert it into a block, you have to go for the insert tab. And from here, you can have the create block option. Just click on this create block option and you will see that a block definition will going to open. From here, just name the block that you want. Let's say that I want to name it at 879. And for the pick point, which will be the common point for all, I'm going to pick the center of this circle. For the object, I'm going to select all the object at once. Just make it enter. Just make it OK. And now it has been converted into the block. You can say that I can just insert it anytime I want. And to insert it in different pages, what I have to do, I have to just save it. So I'm going to delete this one block over here and I'm going to press the control S and I can just save it as let's say that 852 or 879 just save it and let's say that you want to use this block in the other page so I'm going to switch off this page and I'm going to start a fresh drawing that does not contain this block over here. So just go for the recent block option from here and from here you can just select the other drawing. And from here, there is a three button. You can just load up the design. You can say that I have saved it inside the folder, which is 879. Just double click over that and whatever block that this folder contains will going to be available over here. Like 879 is one of the block. So I can just insert it over here like this. So this is how you can just insert the block in any page. Now let's say that you have created multiple blocks in one page. Let's say that this is one of the block that you have created and inside this what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new block like this. So I've created, I have created a new shape and I'm going to create it as a block. So I'm going to write a block. You can say that there is also a create block option. Just click on this create. Just name it as FGH. You can have any name for the pick point. I'm going to select this point for the object. I'm going to select all the object at once. Just press enter for uh, I'm going to make it OK now. And now you can see that inside this block, our FGH block is also available. Now I'm going to press the control plus S button and you can see that now this page is saved. This page contains this block also. I'm going to switch off all the page. And let's say that I want to open it inside a fresh page. So I'm going to click on the start drawing and I want a fresh, uh, I want that block in, in this page also since it does not contain in the insert. So what I can do, I can just click on this option over here directly, which is the blocks from other drawing. Click on that. And from here, you can just load up that drawing again, 879. And you can see that it will going to have all the blocks available that is present on that page. Let's say that I want to use FGS, I can use it. So this is how you can just create a global block and you can just copy it and you can just use it in any of the fresh page that you want. Now one more topic is known as right block. So what do you mean by a right block? Let's say that uh, over here I'm going to start that 879 page again and this, this page contain two blocks over here. Now what I can do, I can just, let's say that this page contain multiple block, but I can just save this block, let's say that this block into a separate design folder. Let's say that I want to save it in X, Y, Z. So I can just separately save this block using the right block tool. So how would you use the right block tool? You have to go for the insert. From here, you have to select the edit, uh, insert, or sorry, create block. Inside this create block, you have the right block option. Just click on the right block and the right block box will going to open from here just select the block and you can see that it could once you select the block it will going to contain all the list of names of all the blocks that is present now let's say that i want to save it 879 and where to save it so i have to just 
provide a path so here i'm going to save it as 879 separate block you can just name it as separate just save it and you can see that it will going to be saved as 879 separate so i'm going to start that folder and you can see that 879 separate has already been saved up over here so this uh, basically this is separately saved block from that page 879 contains both the block whereas 879 separate contains only that selected blo block that we have saved it separately so this is all about the block we have seen about how to create a local block we have seen about how to use it in the other drawing we have also seen about how to separately save a block using the right block option and if you want a full course on this AutoCAD, you can just visit our Udemy page, uh, Udemy course section. There we have got a full comprehensive course on AutoCAD. Check out the link below in the description for the course and all the updates related to that. Thank you and catch up you in the next one.